Hey everyone, PJ here, and as you may have noticed, we're back in the woods with this one. It's another spooky video! In today's video, I'm going to talk about the urban legend behind a painting called Man Proposes, God Disposes. Don't worry, this story isn't cursed, unlike my last video. But the painting itself does have a very unsettling urban legend behind it, as well as a morbid history. So without further ado, let's talk about Man Proposes, God Disposes. Man Proposes, God Disposes is an oil painting done by English artist Sir Edwin Landseer in 1864. The painting was inspired by Franklin's Lost Expedition, which we'll talk about more in depth later on. The painting shows two polar bears at the site of a shipwreck in a rather morbid scene. The bear on the left is gnawing on a piece of cloth, and the bear on the right is eating what appears to be a human remains. Some people claim that what's left of the ship resembles the Grim Reaper holding a scythe. The painting is meant to show humanity and civilization defeated by nature, and is a commentary on the crisis of British triumphalism in the 19th century. The phrase, man proposes, God disposes, is a translation of the Latin phrase, homo proponit sed deus disponit, from the 15th century book, The Imitation of Christ, written by German priest Thomas A. Kempis. The painting was featured at the 1864 Royal Academy Summer Exhibition, where Lady Jane Franklin, the wife of Franklin's Lost Expedition's captain, attended and found the painting to be offensive. Franklin's Lost Expedition was a voyage led by Captain Sir John Franklin that departed England in 1845 aboard two ships, the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terror. The voyage was assigned to explore the last unnavigated sections of the Northwest Passage in the Canadian Arctic. Their goal was to record magnetic data to help determine if a better understanding could help navigation. But soon, disaster struck as both ships became icebound, leaving a total of 129 people stranded in the Victorian Strait near King William Island. After more than a year of being icebound, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror were abandoned by their crews, at which point over a dozen men had died, including Sir John Franklin himself. The remaining crew, now led by Francis Crozier, Franklin's second in command, as well as Erebus's captain, John Fitzjames, set out for the Canadian mainland, but were never seen again. A search party was launched in 1848 pressed by John Franklin's wife, Lady Jane Franklin, as well as several others, to find the missing crew. In the decades following, many artifacts were found at the site. These include the remains of two men. According to scholars, the men found on board the wrecked ships died in extremely slow and horrific ways, including hypothermia, starvation, lead poisoning, zinc deficiency, and even scurvy, not helped by the harsh and unforgiving cold of the Arctic, coupled with the lack of proper clothing and nutrition. There was also evidence that some of the crew members had resorted to cannibalism. Man Proposes, God Disposes is a morbid depiction of what might have happened to the remaining crew. The painting currently resides in the Royal Holloway University of London, where it has become the subject of infamy due to an urban legend that surfaced between the 1920s and 1930s. The legend goes that anyone sitting next to the painting during an exam is doomed to fail. The painting is also said to have driven many students insane after looking at it. An urban legend was started that a student took their own life during an exam after looking at the painting for so long, writing, the polar bears made me do it on their exam paper. However, there are no recorded instances of such an event ever happening. Regardless, in the 1970s, it became a tradition to cover up the painting during exams after a student refused to sit next to it. And that was Man Proposes, God Disposes. What do you think? Do you believe the urban legend, or do you think it's just that? An urban legend. But as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go ice cream.